In linear algebra, the determinant is a scalar value that can be computed from the elements of a square matrix and encodes certain properties of the linear transformation described by the matrix. The determinant of a matrix A is denoted det A, det A, or A. Geometrically, it can be viewed as the volume scaling factor of the linear transformation described by the matrix. This is also the signed volume of the n-dimensional parallelepiped spanned by the column or row vectors of the matrix. The determinant is positive or negative according to whether the linear mapping preserves or reverses the orientation of n-space. In the case of a 2 times 2 matrix the determinant may be defined as a equals a b c d equals a d minus b c display style begin aligned a equals begin v matrix a and b c and d end v matrix equals add b c end aligned similarly for a 3 times 3 matrix a its determinant is a equals a b C D E F G H I equals a white medium square white medium square white medium square white medium square E F white medium square H I Minus B White medium square White medium square White medium square D White medium square F G White medium square I plus C White medium square White medium square White medium square D E white medium square G H white medium square equals A E F H I minus B D F G I plus C D E G H equals A E I plus B F G plus C D H minus C E G minus B D I minus A F H Display style begin aligned out equals begin V matrix A and B and C D and E and F G and H and I end V matrix and equals a begin V matrix box and box and box box and E and F box and H and I end V matrix B begin V matrix box and box and box D and box and F G and box and I end V matrix plus C begin V matrix box and box and box D and E and box G and H and box end V V matrix 3 P T and equals a begin V matrix E and F H and I end V matrix B begin V matrix D and F G and I end V matrix plus C begin V matrix D and E G and H end V matrix 3 P T and equals I plus B F G plus C D H C E G B D I A F H end aligned each determinant of a two times two matrix in this equation is called a minor of the matrix A. This procedure can be extended to give a recursive definition for the determinant of an n times n matrix, the minor expansion formula. Determinants occur throughout mathematics. For example, a matrix is often used to represent the coefficients in a system of linear equations, and the determinant can be used to solve those equations, although other methods of solution are much more computationally efficient. In linear algebra, a matrix with entries in a field is invertible, also called non-singular, if and only if its determinant is non-zero, and correspondingly the matrix is singular if and only if its determinant is zero. This leads to the use of determinants in defining the characteristic polynomial of a matrix whose roots are the eigenvalues. In analytic geometry, determinants express the signed n-dimensional volumes of n-dimensional parallelepipeds. This leads to the use of determinants in calculus, the Jacobian determinant in the change of variables rule for integrals of functions of several variables. Determinants appear frequently in algebraic identities such as the Vandermond identity. 
Determinants possess many algebraic properties, including that the determinant of a product of matrices is equal to the product of determinants. Special types of matrices have special determinants, for example, the determinant of an orthogonal matrix is always plus or minus 1, and the determinant of a complex Hermitian matrix is always real. Topic geometric meaning If an n times n real matrix A is written in terms of its column vectors A equals A1, A2, A n display style A equals begin B matrix Math BF A underscore 1, and, and, Math BF A underscore 2, and, and, C D O T S, and, and, Math BF A underscore N and B matrix then A 1 O 0 equals A 1 A 0 1 0 equals a 2 a 0 0 1 equals a n Display style up begin P matrix one zero V D O T S zero end P matrix equals Math BF a underscore one quadra begin P matrix zero one V D O T S zero end P matrix equals Math BF a underscore two quad L dots quadra begin P matrix zero zero V D O T S one end P matrix equals Math BF a underscore N this means that a display style a maps the unit n cube to the n-dimensional parallelotope defined by the vectors a 1 a 2 a n display style math bf a underscore 1 math bf a underscore 2 l dots math bf a underscore n the region p equals C one a one plus plus C N A N zero C I one I Display style P equals left C underscore one Math BF a underscore one plus C D O T S plus C underscore N Math BF a underscore N mid zero L E Q C underscore I L E Q one for all I write The determinant gives the signed N dimensional volume of this parallelotope. Det A equals plus or minus volume P Display style debt a equals pm text volume p, and hence describes more generally the n-dimensional volume scaling factor of the linear transformation produced by a. The sign shows whether the transformation preserves or reverses orientation. In particular, if the determinant is zero, then this parallelotope has volume zero and is not fully n-dimensional, which indicates that the dimension of the image of a is less than n. This means that a produces a linear transformation which is neither onto nor one to one, and so is not invertible. Topic <laughs> definition: There are various equivalent ways to define the determinant of a square matrix A, i.e., one with the same number of rows and columns. Perhaps the simplest way to express the determinant is by considering the elements in the top row and the respective minors, starting at the left, multiply the element by the minor, then subtract the product of the next element and its minor, and alternate adding and subtracting such products until all elements in the top row have been exhausted. For example, here is the result for a 4 times 4 matrix A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P equals A F G H J K L N O P Minus B E 
G H I K L M O P plus C E F H I J L M N P minus D E F G I J K M N O Display style begin V matrix A and B and C and D E and F and G and H I and J and K and L M and N and O and P end V matrix equals a begin V matrix F and G and H J and K and L N and O and P end V matrix B begin V matrix E and G and H I and K and L M and O and P end V matrix plus C begin V matrix E and F and H I and J and L M and N and P end V matrix D begin V matrix E and F and G I and J and K M and N and O end V matrix. Another way to define the determinant is expressed in terms of the columns of the matrix. If we write an n times n matrix a in terms of its column vectors a equals a one a two a n display style a equals begin b matrix a underscore one and a underscore two and c d o t s and a underscore n end b matrix where the a j display style a underscore j are vectors of size n, then the determinant of a is defined so that det a one b a j plus c v a n equals b det a plus C debt a one V A N debt a one A J A J plus one A N equals minus debt a one A J plus one A J A N debt I equals one display style begin aligned debt begin B matrix a underscore one and C D O T S and ba underscore J plus C V and C D O T S and a underscore N and B matrix and equals B debt A plus C debt begin B matrix a underscore one and C D O T S and V and C D O T S and a underscore N and B matrix debt begin B matrix a underscore one and C D O T S and a underscore J and a underscore J plus one and C D O T S and a underscore N and B matrix and equals debt begin B matrix a underscore one and C D O T S and a underscore J plus one and a underscore J and C D O T S and a underscore N and B matrix debt I and equals one and aligned where B and C are scalars V is any vector vector of size n and i is the identity matrix of size n. These equations say that the determinant is a linear function of each column, that interchanging adjacent columns reverses the sign of the determinant, and that the determinant of the identity matrix is 1. These properties mean that the determinant is an alternating multilinear function of the columns that maps the identity matrix to the underlying unit scalar. These suffice to uniquely calculate the determinant of any square matrix. Provided the underlying scalars form a field more generally, a commutative ring with unity, the definition below shows that such a function exists, and it can be shown to be unique. Equivalently, the determinant can be expressed as a sum of products of entries of the matrix where each product has n terms and the coefficient of each product is minus 1 or 1 or 0 according to a given rule, it is a polynomial expression of the matrix entries. This expression grows rapidly with the size of the matrix and n times n matrix contributes n terms so it will first be given explicitly for the case of 2 times 2 matrices and 3 times 3 matrices followed by the rule for arbitrary size matrices which subsumes these two cases Assume A as a square matrix with n rows and n columns so that it can be written as A equals a 1 one a one two a one n a two one a two two a two n a n one a n 
two A N N display style a equals begin B matrix a underscore one one and a underscore one two and dots and a underscore one N A underscore two one and a underscore two two and dots and a underscore two N V D O T S and V D O T S and D dots and V D O T S a underscore N one and a underscore N two and dots and a underscore N N end B matrix the entries can be numbers or expressions as happens when the determinant is used to define a characteristic polynomial the definition of the determinant depends only on the fact that they can be added and multiplied together in a commutative manner the determinant of a is denoted by det a or it can be denoted directly in terms of the matrix entries by writing enclosing bars instead of brackets a 1 1 a 1 2 1 n a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 n a n 1 a n two A N N display style begin V matrix a underscore one one and a underscore one two and dots and a underscore one N A underscore two one and a underscore two two and dots and a underscore two N V D O T S and V D O T S and D dots and V D O T S a underscore N one and a underscore N two and dots and a underscore N N end V matrix Topic 2 times 2 matrices The Leibniz formula for the determinant of a 2 times 2 matrix is ABCD equals AD minus BC. Display style begin V matrix A and B C and D end V matrix equals add BC. If the matrix entries are real numbers, the matrix A can be used to represent two linear maps: one that maps the standard basis vectors to the rows of A, and one that maps them to the columns of A. In either case, the images of the basis vectors form a parallelogram that represents the image of the unit square under the mapping. The parallelogram defined by the rows of the above matrix is the one with vertices at 0, 0, A, B, A plus C, B plus D, and C, D, as shown in the accompanying diagram. The absolute value of add minus BC is the area of the parallelogram, and thus represents the scale factor by which areas are transformed by A. The parallelogram formed by the columns of A is in general a different parallelogram, but since the determinant is symmetric with respect to rows and columns, the area will be the same. The absolute value of the determinant together with the sign becomes the oriented area of the parallelogram. The oriented area is the same as the usual area, except that it is negative when the angle from the first to the second vector defining the parallelogram turns in a clockwise direction which is opposite to the direction one would get for the identity matrix. To show that add minus BC as the signed area, one may consider a matrix containing two vectors a A, B, and B C, D representing the parallelogram sides. The signed area can be expressed as, A, B, sin theta for the angle theta between the vectors, which is simply base times height, the length of one vector times the perpendicular component of the other. Due to the sign this already is the signed area, yet it may be expressed more conveniently using the cosine of the complementary angle to a perpendicular vector, e.g. a equals minus b, a, such that, a, b, cos theta, which can be determined by the pattern of the scalar product to be equal to add minus b c. Signed area equals a b sin theta equals a B cos theta equals minus B A C D equals A D minus B C 
Display style text signed area equals bold symbol a bold symbol b sin theta equals left bold symbol a caret perp right bold symbol b cos theta equals begin p matrix b a end p matrix c d o t begin p matrix c d end p matrix equals add b c. Thus, the determinant gives the scaling factor and the orientation induced by the mapping represented by a. When the determinant is equal to 1, the linear mapping defined by the matrix is equi-arial and orientation preserving. The object known as the bivector is related to these ideas. In 2D, it can be interpreted as an oriented plane segment formed by imagining two vectors each with origin 0, 0, and coordinates a, b, and c, d. The bivector magnitude denoted by a, b, c, d is the signed area, which is also the determinant ad minus b c. Topic three times three matrices. The Laplace formula for the determinant of a three times three matrix is a b c d e f g h i equals a e f h i minus b d f g i plus c d e g h. Display style begin v matrix and b and c d and e and f g and h and i end v matrix equals a begin v matrix e and f h and i end v matrix b begin v matrix d and f g and i end v matrix plus C Beggy N V matrix D and E G and H end V matrix. This can be expanded out to give A B C D E F G H I equals A E I minus F H minus B D I minus F G plus C D H minus E G equals A E I plus B F G plus C D H minus C E G minus B D I minus A F H Display style begin aligned begin v matrix and b and c d and e and f g and h and i end v matrix and equals a a f h b d f g plus c d h e g and equals i plus b f g plus c d h c e g b d i a f h end aligned, which is the Leibniz formula for the determinant of a three times three matrix. The rule of Saris is a mnemonic for the 3 times 3 matrix determinant, the sum of the products of three diagonal northwest to southeast lines of matrix elements, minus the sum of the products of three diagonal southwest to northeast lines of elements, when the copies of the first two columns of the matrix are written beside it as in the illustration. This scheme for calculating the determinant of a 3 times 3 matrix does not carry over into higher dimensions. Topic N times N matrices. The determinant of a matrix of arbitrary size can be defined by the Leibniz formula or the Laplace formula. The Leibniz formula for the determinant of an N times N matrix A is det A equals sigma element of S N S G N. Sigma I equals one N A I Sigma I Display style debt out equals sum underscore sigma in S underscore N left operator name S G N sigma prod underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I sigma underscore I right here the sum is computed over all permutation sigma of the set 1 2 n a permutation is a function that reorders this set of integers the value in the ith position after the reordering sigma is denoted by sigma i for example for n topic 3 the original sequence 1 2 3 might be reordered to sigma 2 3 1 with sigma 1 topic 2 sigma 2 3 and sigma 3 equals 1 the set of all such permutations also known as the symmetric group on n elements is denoted by sn for each permutation sigma sgn sigma denotes the signature of sigma a value that is plus 1 whenever the reordering given by sigma can be achieved by successively interchanging two entries an even number of times and minus 1 whenever it can be achieved by an odd number of such interchanges in any of the 
n display style n summons the term i equals 1 n a i sigma i display style prod underscore i equals 1 caret n a underscore i sigma underscore i is notation for the product of the entries at positions i sigma i where i ranges from 1 to n a 1 sigma 1 a 2 sigma 2 a n sigma n Display style a underscore one, sigma underscore one, C D O T a underscore two, sigma underscore two, C D O T S a underscore N, sigma underscore N. For example, the determinant of a three times three matrix A N equals three is Sigma element of S N S G N Sigma I equals one N A I Sigma I equals S G N one two three I equals one N A I one two three I plus SGN one three two I equals one N A I one three two I plus SGN two one three I equals one N A I two one three I plus S G N two three one I equals one N A I two three one I plus S G N three one two I equals one N A I three one two I plus S G N three two one I equals one N A I three two one I equals I equals one N A I one two three I minus I equals one N A I one three two I minus I equals one N A I two one three I plus I equals one N A I two three one I plus I equals one N A I three one two I minus I equals one N A I three two one I 
equals a one one a two two a three three minus a one one a two three a three two minus a one two a two one a three three plus a one two a two three a three one plus a one three Two, one a three, two minus a one, three a two, two a three, one. Display style begin aligned and sum underscore sigma in s underscore n operator name s g n sigma prod underscore i equals one caret n a underscore i sigma underscore i equals and operator name s g n one two three prod underscore i equals one caret n a underscore i one two three underscore i plus operator name s g n one three two prod underscore i equals one caret n a underscore i one three two underscore I plus operator name S G N two one three prod underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I two one three underscore I plus and operator name S G N two three one prod underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I two three one underscore I plus operator name S G N three one two prod underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I three one two underscore I plus operator name S G N three two one prod underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I three two one underscore I equals and prod underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I one two three underscore I prod underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I one three two underscore I prod underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I two one three underscore I plus prod underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I two three one underscore I plus prod underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I three one two underscore I prod underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I three two one underscore I two PT equals and a underscore one one a underscore two two a underscore three three a underscore one one a underscore two three a underscore three two a underscore Underscore one two a underscore two one a underscore three three plus a underscore one two a underscore two three a underscore three one plus a underscore one three a underscore two one a underscore three two a underscore one three a underscore two two a underscore three one end aligned topic Levi Savita symbol It is sometimes useful to extend the Leibniz formula to a summation in which not only permutations, but all sequences of n indices in the range 1, n occur, ensuring that the contribution of a sequence will be zero unless it denotes a permutation. Thus the totally antisymmetric Levi Savita symbol epsilon i 1 i n Display style var epsilon underscore i underscore one c d o t s i underscore n extends the signature of a permutation by setting epsilon sigma one sigma n equals s g n sigma display style var epsilon underscore Sigma 1 C D o T s Sigma n equals operator name SGN Sigma for any permutation Sigma of n and epsilon I 1 I n equals 0 display style var epsilon underscore I underscore 1 C D o T s I underscore n equals 0 when no permutation sigma exists such that sigma 
j equals i j display style sigma j equals i underscore j for j equals one n display style j equals one l dots n or equivalently, whenever some pair of indices are equal. The determinant for an n times n matrix can then be expressed using an n-fold summation as det a equals i 1 i 2 i n equals 1 n epsilon i 1 I N A one I one A N I N Display style debt out equals sum underscore I underscore one I underscore two L dots I underscore N equals one carrot N var epsilon underscore I underscore one C D O T S I underscore N A underscore one I underscore one C D O T S I underscore N I underscore N or using two epsilon symbols as debt A equals one N Epsilon I one I N Epsilon J one J N A I one J one A I N J N Display style debt out equals FRAC one N sum var epsilon underscore I underscore one C D O T S I underscore N var epsilon underscore J underscore one C D O T S J underscore N A underscore I underscore one J underscore one C D O T S I underscore I underscore N J underscore N Where now each I R and each junior should be summed over one N However, through the use of tensor notation and the suppression of the summation symbol Einstein's summation convention, we can obtain a much more compact expression of the determinant of the second order system of n equals 3 display style n equals 3 dimensions a n m display style a underscore n caret m det a N M E R S T equals E I J K A R I A S J A T K Display style debt a underscore n carrot m e underscore r s t equals e underscore i j k a underscore r carrot i a underscore s carrot j a underscore t carrot k, where e r s t display style e underscore r s t and e i j K display style e underscore i j k represent e systems that take on the values zero, plus one, and minus one given the number of permutations of i j k display style i j k and r s t display style r s t. More specifically, e I J K display style e underscore I J K is equal to zero when there is a repeated index in I J K display style I J K plus one when an even number of permutations of I J K display style I J K 
is present minus 1 when an odd number of permutations of i j k display style i j k is present note that the number of indices present in the e systems is equal to n display style n and thus can be generalized in this manner topic properties of the determinant the determinant has many properties some basic properties of determinants are det i n equals 1 Display style debt left i underscore n right equals one, wherein is the n times n identity matrix debt a t equals debt a display style debt left a caret text s f t right equals debt a, where a t display style a caret text s f t Denotes the transpose of a display style a debt a minus one equals one debt a equals debt a minus one Display style debt left a caret minus one right equals frac one debt a equals debt a caret minus one. For square matrices a and b of equal size, debt a b equals debt a debt b. Display style debt a b equals debt a debt b debt C A equals C N debt A display style debt C A equals C caret N debt A for an n times n matrix A for positive semi-definite matrices A B and C of equal size debt A plus B plus C plus debt C debt A plus C plus debt B plus C Display style debt A plus B plus C plus debt C GEQ debt A plus C plus debt B plus C for A B C zero display style a b c g e q zero with the corollary debt a plus b debt a plus debt b display style debt a plus b g e q debt a plus debt b if A is a triangular matrix, i.e., I, J equals zero whenever I greater than J or, alternatively, whenever I debt A equals a 1, 1 a 2, 2 a n, n equals I equals 1 n a i, I. Display style debt a equals a underscore one one a underscore two two c d o t s a underscore n n equals prod underscore i equals one caret n a underscore i i. This can be deduced from some of the properties below, but it follows most easily directly from the Leibniz formula or from the Laplace expansion, in which the identity permutation is the only one that gives a non-zero contribution. A number of additional properties relate to the effects on the determinant of changing particular rows or columns. Viewing an n times n display style n times n matrix as being composed of n display style n columns, the determinant is an n-linear function. This means that if the j t h display style j caret t h column of a matrix a display style a is written as a sum a j equals v plus 
W Display style Math BF underscore J equals Math BF V plus Math BF W of two column vectors, and all other columns are left unchanged, then the determinant of A Display style A is the sum of the determinants of the matrices obtained from A Display style A by replacing the J T H Display style J carrot T H column by V Display style Math BF V denoted A V Display style A underscore V and then by W Display style Math BF W denoted A W Display style A underscore W and a similar relation holds when writing a column as a scalar multiple of a column vector. Det a equals det a one a j a n equals det v plus w equals det v plus debt w equals debt a v plus debt a w display style begin aligned debt a and equals debt math bf a underscore one dots math bf a underscore j dots math bf a underscore n and equals debt dots math bf v plus math bf w dots and equals debt dots math bf v dots plus debt dots math bf w dots and equals debt left a underscore v right plus debt left a underscore W right end aligned. If in a matrix any row or column has all elements equal to zero, then the determinant of that matrix is zero. This n-linear function is an alternating form. This means that whenever two columns of a matrix are identical, or more generally, some column can be expressed as a linear combination of the other columns, i.e., the columns of the matrix form a linearly dependent set. Its determinant is zero. Properties one, eight, and ten, which all follow from the Leibniz formula, completely characterize the determinant. In other words, the determinant is the unique function from n times n matrices to scalars that is n-linear, alternating in the columns, and takes the value one for the identity matrix. This characterizes holds even if scalars are taken in any given commutative ring. To see this it suffices to expand the determinant by multilinearity in the columns into a huge linear combination of determinants of matrices in which each column is a standard basis vector. These determinants are either 0 by property 9 or else plus or minus 1 by properties 1 and 12 below, so the linear combination gives the expression above in terms of the levi civita symbol. While less technical in appearance, this characterization cannot entirely replace the Leibniz formula in defining the determinant, since without it the existence of an appropriate function is not clear. For matrices over non-commutative rings, properties 8 and 9 are incompatible for N2, so there is no good definition of the determinant in this setting. Property 2 above implies that properties for columns have their counterparts in terms of rows, viewing an n times n matrix as being composed of n rows, the determinant is an n linear function. This n linear function is an alternating form, whenever two rows of a matrix are identical, its determinant is zero. Interchanging any pair of columns or rows of a matrix multiplies its determinant by minus 1. This follows from properties 8 and 10 it is a general property of multilinear alternating maps. More generally, any permutation of the rows or columns multiplies the determinant by the sign of the permutation. By permutation, it is meant viewing each row as a vector re equivalently each column as c and reordering the rows or columns by interchange of rj and rk or cj and ck, where j, k are two indices chosen from 1 to n for an n times n square matrix. Adding a scalar multiple of one column to another column does not change the value of the determinant. This is a consequence of properties 8 and 10 in the following way, by property 8 the determinant changes by a multiple of the determinant of a matrix with two equal columns, which determinant is 0 by property 10. 
Similarly, adding a scalar multiple of one row to another row leaves the determinant unchanged. Property 5 says that the determinant on n times n matrices is homogeneous of degree n. These properties can be used to facilitate the computation of determinants by simplifying the matrix to the point where the determinant can be determined immediately. Specifically, for matrices with coefficients in a field, properties 13 and 14 can be used to transform any matrix into a triangular matrix, whose determinant is given by property 7. This is essentially the method of Gaussian elimination. For example, the determinant of a equals minus two two minus three minus one one three two o minus one display style a equals begin b matrix minus two and two and minus three minus one and one and three two and zero and minus one end b matrix can be computed using the following matrices: b equals minus two two minus three o o four. 520-1, C equals minus two two minus three oh oh four point five oh two minus four, D equals minus two two minus three oh two minus four oh oh four point five. Display style B equals begin B matrix minus two and two and minus three zero and zero and four point five two and zero and minus one end B matrix quad C equals begin B matrix minus two and two and minus three zero and zero and four point five zero and two and minus four end B matrix quad D equals begin B matrix minus two and two and minus three zero and two and minus four zero and zero and four Point five end B matrix. Here B is obtained from a by adding minus one half times the first row to the second, so that debt A. Topic debt B C is obtained from B by adding the first to the third row, so that debt C. Debt B. Finally, D is obtained from C by exchanging the second and third row, so that debt D. Topic minus debt C. The determinant of the upper triangular matrix D is the product of its entries on the main diagonal minus two two four point five minus eighteen. Therefore, debt A. Topic minus debt D plus one eight. Topic sure complement. The following identity holds for a sure complement of a square matrix. The sure complement arises as the result of performing a block Gaussian elimination by multiplying the matrix M from the right with a block lower triangular matrix L equals IP zero minus D minus one CIQ. Display style L equals left begin matrix I underscore P and zero D carrot minus one C and I underscore Q end matrix right here it denotes a P times P identity matrix. After multiplication with the matrix L, the sure complement appears in the upper P times P block. The product matrix is M L equals A B C D I P zero minus D minus one C I Q equals O minus B D minus one C B zero D equals I P B D minus one zero I Q A minus B D minus one C zero zero D 
Display style begin aligned ML and equals left begin matrix A and B C and D end matrix right left begin matrix I underscore P and zero D carrot minus one C and I underscore Q end matrix right equals left begin matrix A B D carrot minus one C and B zero and D end matrix right and equals left begin matrix I underscore P and B D carrot minus one zero and I underscore Q end matrix Right, left begin matrix a b d carrot minus one c and zero zero and d end matrix right end aligned. That is, we have effected a Gaussian decomposition a b c d equals i p b d minus one zero I Q A minus B D minus one C zero zero D I P zero D minus one C I Q display style left begin matrix A and B C and D end matrix right equals left begin matrix I underscore P and B D carrot minus one zero and I underscore Q end matrix right left begin matrix a B D carrot minus one C and zero zero and D end matrix right left begin matrix I underscore P and zero D carrot minus one C and I underscore Q end matrix right the first and last matrices on the RHS have determinant unity, so we have DET, A B C D, equals DET, D, DET, A minus B D minus 1 C. Display style erm debt left begin matrix A and B C and D end matrix right equals erm debt D erm debt left a B D carrot minus 1 C right. This is Schur's determinant identity. Topic: Multiplicativity and matrix groups. The determinant of a matrix product of square matrices equals the product of their determinants. Det A B equals det A det B. Display style det A B equals det A det B. Thus the determinant is a multiplicative map. This property is a consequence of the characterization given above of the determinant as the unique n-linear alternating function of the columns with value 1 on the identity matrix, since the function Minnesota k, k that maps m det a m can easily be seen to be n-linear and alternating in the columns of m, and takes the value det a at the identity. The formula can be generalized to square products of rectangular matrices, giving the Cauchy-Binet formula, which also provides an independent proof of the multiplicative property. The determinant debt a of a matrix A is non-zero if and only if A is invertible or, yet another equivalent statement, if its rank equals the size of the matrix. If so, the determinant of the inverse matrix is given by debt a minus 1 equals 1 debt a display style debt left a caret minus 1 right equals frac 1 debt a in particular products and inverses of matrices with determinant 1 still have this property thus the set of such matrices of fixed size n form a group known as the special linear group more generally the word special indicates the subgroup of another matrix group of matrices of determinant 1. Examples include the special orthogonal group, which if n is 2 or 3 consists of all rotation matrices, and the special unitary group. <laughs> Laplace's formula and the adjugate matrix Laplace's formula expresses the determinant of a matrix in terms of its minors. The minor m i j is defined to be the determinant of the n minus one times n minus one matrix that results from a by removing the i th row and the j th column. The expression minus one i plus j m i j is known as a cofactor. 
the determinant of a is given by det a equals j equals 1 n minus 1 i plus j a i j m i j Display style debt out equals sum underscore j equals one carrot n minus one carrot i plus j a underscore i j m underscore i j for a fixed i display style i equals i equals one n minus one i plus j a I J M I J Display style equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N minus one carrot I plus J a underscore I J M underscore I J for a fixed J Display style J Calculating debt out by means of this formula is referred to as expanding the determinant along a row, the ith row using the first form with fixed i, or expanding along a column, using the second form with fixed j. For example, the Laplace expansion of the 3 times 3 matrix A equals minus 2 2 minus 3 minus 1 1 3 2 0 minus 1. Display style A equals begin B matrix minus 2 and 2 and minus 3 minus 1 and 1 and 3 2 and 0 and minus 1 end B matrix along the second column J equals 2 and the sum runs over I is given by. However, Laplace expansion is efficient for small matrices only. The adjugate matrix adj a is the transpose of the matrix consisting of the cofactors, i.e., adj a i j equals minus one i plus j m j i. Display style operator name adj a underscore i j equals minus one caret i plus j m underscore j i. In terms of the adjugate matrix, Laplace's expansion can be written as det a i equals a adj a equals adj a a. Display style operator name debt a i equals a operator name adj a equals operator name adj a a. Topic: Sylvester's determinant theorem. Sylvester's determinant theorem states that for A, an m times n matrix, and B, an n times m matrix, so that A and B have dimensions allowing them to be multiplied in either order, forming a square matrix. Det i m plus a b equals det i n plus b a. Display style debt left I underscore math at M plus A B right equals debt left I underscore math at N plus B A right where I am and N are the M times M and N times N identity matrices, respectively. From this general result several consequences follow. Topic Properties of the determinant in relation to other notions. Topic: Relation to eigenvalues and trace. Let a be an arbitrary n times n matrix of complex numbers with eigenvalues. Lambda one. Display style lambda underscore one. Lambda two. Display style lambda underscore two. Lambda n. Display style lambda underscore n. Here it is understood that an eigenvalue with algebraic multiplicity mu occurs mu times in this list then the determinant of a is the product of all eigenvalues det a equals i equals 1 n lambda i equals lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 
Display style operator name debt a equals prod underscore i equals one carrot n lambda underscore i equals lambda underscore one lambda underscore two c d o t s lambda underscore n. The product of all non-zero eigenvalues is referred to as pseudo determinant. Conversely, determinants can be used to find the eigenvalues of the matrix A. They are the solutions of the characteristic equation. Det a minus lambda i equals zero. Display style det a lambda i equals zero tilde, where i is the identity matrix of the same dimension as a and lambda is a scalar number which solves the equation. There are no more than n solutions, where n is the dimension of a. A Hermitian matrix is positive definite if all its eigenvalues are positive. Sylvester's criterion asserts that this is equivalent to the determinants of the submatrices A K equals A 1 1 A 1 2 A 1 K A 2 1 A 2 2 2 k a k 1 a k 2 a k k display style a underscore k equals begin b matrix a underscore 1 1 and a underscore 1 2 and dots and a underscore 1 k a underscore 2 1 and a underscore 2 2 and dots and a underscore 2 k v d o t s and v d o t s and d dots and v d o t s a underscore k 1 and a underscore k 2 and dots and a underscore k k end b matrix being positive, for all k between 1 and n. The trace tr a is by definition the sum of the diagonal entries of a and also equals the sum of the eigenvalues. Thus, for complex matrices a, det exp a equals exp tr a display style det exp a equals exp operator name tr a or, for real matrices a, tr a equals log det exp a. Display style operator name T R A equals log det E X P A. Here E X P A denotes the matrix exponential of A, because every eigenvalue lambda of A corresponds to the eigenvalue E X P lambda of E X P A. In particular, given any logarithm of A, that is any matrix L satisfying experience L equals A. Display style E X P L equals A. The determinant of A is given by det A equals E X P T R L. Display style debt a equals exp operator name trl. For example, for n. Topic two n three and n equals four, respectively. Debt a equals one two tr. Two minus TR A two debt A equals one six TR A three minus three TR A TR A two plus Two T R A three debt O equals one twenty four T R O four minus six T R A two T R A Two plus three T R a two two plus eight T R a three T R a minus six T R a four. 
Display style begin aligned debt a and equals frac one two left left operator name t r a right carrot two operator name t r left a carrot two right right debt a and equals frac one six left left operator name t r a right carrot three minus three operator name t r a tilde operator name t r left a carrot two right plus two operator name t r left a carrot three right right debt a and equals frac 124 left left operator name t r a right carrot 4 minus 6 operator name t r left a carrot 2 right left operator name t r a right carrot 2 plus 3 left operator name t r left a carrot 2 right right carrot 2 plus 8 operator name t r left a carrot 3 right tilde operator name t r a minus 6 operator name t r left a carrot 4 right right Right, end aligned CF. Cayley Hamilton theorem. Such expressions are deducible from combinatorial arguments, Newton's identities, or the Fadiv Leverrier algorithm. That is, for generic n, data equals minus nc0 the signed constant term of the characteristic polynomial, determined recursively from C n equals 1 C n minus M equals minus one M K equals one M C N minus M plus K T R A K one M N Display style c underscore n equals one tilde 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 c underscore n m equals frac one m sum underscore k equals one caret m c underscore n m plus k operator name t r left a caret k right tilde tilde one l e q m l e q n tilde. In the general case, this may also be obtained from det a equals k. One K two K N L equals one N minus one K L plus one L K L K L T R A L K L Display style debt A equals sum underscore K underscore one K underscore two L dots K underscore N prod underscore L equals one carrot N FRAC minus one carrot K underscore L plus one L carrot K underscore L K underscore L operator name T R left A carrot L right carrot K underscore L where the sum is taken over the set of all integers k l zero satisfying the equation l equals one n l k l equals n display style sum underscore l equals one caret n l k underscore l equals n the formula can be expressed in terms of the complete exponential Bell polynomial of n arguments S L equals minus L one T R L as debt A equals minus one N N B N S one S two S N display style debt a equals frac minus one caret n n b underscore n s underscore one s underscore two l dots s underscore n. This formula can also be used to find the determinant of a matrix A i j with multidimensional indices i. Topic i one i two i r and j. J1, J2, Jr. 
The product and trace of such matrices are defined in a natural way as A B J I equals K A K I B J K T R A equals I A I I display style a b underscore j caret i equals sum underscore k a underscore k caret i b underscore j caret k operator name t r a equals sum underscore i a underscore i caret i. An important arbitrary dimension n identity can be obtained from the Mercator series expansion of the logarithm when the expansion converges. If every eigenvalue of a is less than one in absolute value. Debt I plus a equals k equals zero infinity one k minus j equals one infinity minus one j j t r a J K Display style debt I plus A equals sum underscore K equals zero. Carrot in AFT FRAC one K left sum underscore J equals one. Carrot in AFT FRAC minus one. Carrot J J operator name T R left a carrot J right right carrot K where I is the identity matrix. More generally, if K equals zero infinity one K minus J equals one infinity minus one J S J J T R A J K Display style sum underscore k equals zero carrot in a t frac one k left sum underscore j equals one carrot in a t frac minus one carrot j s carrot j j operator name t r left a carrot j right right carrot k is expanded as a formal power series in S. Then all coefficients of S M for M greater than n are zero, and the remaining polynomial is debt i plus sa. Topic: Upper and lower bounds. For a positive definite matrix A, the trace operator gives the following tight lower and upper bounds on the log determinant. T R I minus A minus one log debt A T R A minus I display style operator name T R left I A carrot minus one right L E Q log debt A L E Q operator name T R A I with equality if and only if A equals I. This relationship can be derived via the formula for the KL divergence between two multivariate normal distributions. Also, N T R A minus one debt a one n one n t r a one n t r a two Display style FRAC N operator name T R A carrot minus one L E Q debt A carrot FRAC one N L E Q FRAC one N operator name T R A L E Q S Q R T FRAC one N operator name T R left a carrot two right. These inequalities can be proved by bringing the matrix A to the diagonal form. As such, they represent the well-known fact that the harmonic mean is less than the geometric mean, which is less than the arithmetic mean, which is, in turn, less than the root mean square. Topic: 
Topic: Cramer's rule. For a matrix equation, a x equals b. Display style x equals b. Given that a has a non-zero determinant, the solution is given by Cramer's rule. X i equals debt a i debt a i equals one two three n display style x underscore i equals frac debt a underscore i debt a q quad i equals one two three l dots n where i is the matrix formed by replacing the ith column of a by the column vector b. This follows immediately by column expansion of the determinant, i.e. debt a i equals debt a 1 b a n equals j equals 1 n x j debt a 1 a i minus 1 a j a i plus 1 a N equals x i debt a display style debt a underscore i equals debt begin b matrix a underscore one and l dots and b and l dots and a underscore n end b matrix equals sum underscore j equals one caret n x underscore j debt begin b matrix a underscore one and l dots a underscore i one and a underscore j and a underscore i plus one and l dots and a underscore n end b matrix equals x underscore i debt a where the vectors a j display style a underscore j are the columns of a. The rule is also implied by the identity a adj a equals adj a a equals debt a i n display style a operator name adj a equals operator name adj a a equals debt a i underscore n. It has recently been shown that Cramer's rule can be implemented in O n three time, which is comparable to more common methods of solving systems of linear equations, such as Lu, QR, or singular value decomposition. Topic block matrices Suppose A, B, C, and D are matrices of dimension n times n, n times m, m times n, and m times m, respectively. Then debt A0 C D equals debt A debt D equals debt A B0 D. Display style debt begin p matrix a and zero c and d end p matrix equals debt a debt d equals debt begin p matrix a and b zero and d end p matrix. This can be seen from the Leibniz formula, or from a decomposition like for the former case a zero c d equals a zero c i m i n o o d. Display style begin p matrix a and zero c and d end p matrix equals begin p matrix a and zero c and i underscore m end p matrix begin p matrix i underscore n and zero zero and d end p matrix. When a is invertible, one has debt a b c d equals debt a debt d minus c a minus one b. Display style debt begin p matrix a and b c and d end p matrix equals debt a debt left d c a caret minus one b right. As can be seen by employing the decomposition a b c d equals a zero c i m i n a minus one b zero d minus c a minus one b. Display style begin p matrix a and b c and d end p matrix equals begin p matrix a and zero c and i underscore m end p matrix begin p matrix i underscore n and a caret minus one b zero and d c a caret minus one b end p matrix. 
When d is invertible, a similar identity with debt d display style debt d factored out can be derived analogously. That is, debt a b c d equals debt d debt a minus b d minus one c display style debt begin p matrix a and b c and d end p matrix equals debt d debt left a b d caret minus one c right. When the blocks are square matrices of the same order, further formulas hold. For example, if C and D commute, i.e., C D equals D C, then the following formula comparable to the determinant of a two times two matrix holds: debt A B C D equals debt A D minus B C. Display style debt begin P matrix A and B C and D end P matrix equals debt A D B C. Generally, if all pairs of n times n matrices of the n P times n P block matrix commute, then the determinant of the block matrix is equal to the determinant of the matrix obtained by computing the determinant of the block matrix, considering its entries as the entries of A P times P matrix. As the previous formula shows, for p equals 2, this criterion is sufficient, but not necessary. When a topic d and b c, the blocks are square matrices of the same order and the following formula holds even if a and b do not commute, debt a b b a equals debt a minus b, debt a plus b. Display style debt begin p matrix a and b b and a end p matrix equals debt a b debt a plus b when d is a one times one matrix b is a column vector and c is a row vector then debt a b c d equals d minus c a minus one b debt a display style debt begin p matrix a and b c and d end p matrix equals left d c a caret minus 1 b right debt a let s display style s be a scalar complex number if a block matrix is square its characteristic polynomial can be factored with debt a minus s i b c d Minus S I equals debt A minus S I debt D minus C adj A minus S I B debt A minus S I minus S I I F S E I G A equals debt a minus S I one minus N minus M debt debt a minus S I D minus C edge a minus S I B minus debt A minus S I S I display style begin aligned debt begin P matrix a C and B C and D C end P matrix and equals debt a C debt left D F R A C C operator name edge a C B debt a C C right quad mathrm if quad S note an operator name E I g a and equals debt a c caret one n m debt left debt a c d c operator name adj a c b debt a c c right end aligned. Topic derivative. It can be seen, e.g., using the Leibniz formula, that the determinant of real or analogously for complex square matrices is a polynomial function from R n times n to R, and so it is everywhere differentiable. Its derivative can be expressed using Jacobi's formula. D det a d alpha equals t r adj a D A D alpha display style frac D debt A D alpha equals operator name T R left operator name adj A frac da D alpha right, where adj A denotes the adjugate of A. In particular, if A is invertible, we have D debt A D alpha equals debt a tr a minus 1 d a 
d alpha display style frac d det a d alpha equals det a operator name tr left a caret minus one frac da d alpha right expressed in terms of the entries of a these are det a a i j equals adj a j i equals det a a minus 1 j i Display style FRAC partial debt a partial a underscore IJ equals operator name adj A underscore G equals debt A left A carrot minus one right underscore G. Yet another equivalent formulation is debt A plus EX minus debt A equals TR Adj a x e plus o e two equals debt a t r a minus one x e plus o e two Display style debt a plus epsilon x debt a equals operator name t r operator name adj a x epsilon plus o left epsilon caret two right equals debt a operator name t r left a caret minus one x right epsilon plus o left epsilon caret two right. Using big O notation, the special case where a equals i. Display style a equals i. The identity matrix yields debt i plus e x equals one plus t r x e plus o e two. Display style debt i plus epsilon x equals one plus operator name t r x epsilon plus o left epsilon caret two right. This identity is used in describing the tangent space of certain matrix Lie groups. If the matrix A is written as a equals a b c display style a equals begin b matrix math b f a end math b f b end math b f c end b matrix where a b c are column vectors of length three, then the gradient over one of the three vectors may be written as the cross product of the other two. A debt a equals b times c b debt a equals c times a c debt a equals a times b. Display style begin aligned nabla underscore math bf a debt a and equals math bf b times math bf c nabla underscore math bf b debt a and equals math bf c times math bf a nabla underscore math bf c debt a and equals math bf a times math bf b end aligned. Topic. Abstract algebraic aspects Topic: <laughs> Determinant of an endomorphism The above identities concerning the determinant of products and inverses of matrices imply that similar matrices have the same determinant. Two matrices A and B are similar. If there exists an invertible matrix X such that A equals X minus 1 B X. Indeed, repeatedly applying the above identities yields debt A equals debt X minus 1 debt B debt x equals debt B debt x minus one debt x equals debt B Display style debt a equals debt x caret minus one debt b debt x equals debt b debt x caret minus one debt x equals debt b. 
The determinant is therefore also called a similarity invariant. The determinant of a linear transformation T V V display style T V right arrow V for some finite dimensional vector space V is defined to be the determinant of the matrix describing it, with respect to an arbitrary choice of basis in V by the similarity invariance. This determinant is independent of the choice of the basis for V and therefore only depends on the endomorphism T. Topic exterior algebra The determinant of a linear transformation A, V V of an n-dimensional vector space V can be formulated in a coordinate-free manner by considering the nth exterior power λ Nevada of V A induces a linear map λ N A, λ N V λ N V V1 V2 V N A V1 A V2 A V N Display style begin aligned lambda caret n a lambda caret n v and right arrow lambda caret n v v underscore one wedge v underscore two wedge dots wedge v underscore n and mapsto avenue underscore one wedge avenue underscore two wedge dots wedge avenue underscore n end aligned as lambda Nevada is one dimensional the map lambda na is given by multiplying with some scalar. This scalar coincides with the determinant of a, that is to say, lambda n a v one v n equals det a v one v n. Display style left lambda caret n a right left v underscore one wedge dots wedge v underscore n right equals det a c d o t v underscore one wedge dots wedge v underscore n. This definition agrees with the more concrete coordinate dependent definition. This follows from the characterization of the determinant given above. For example, switching two columns changes the sign of the determinant. Likewise, permuting the vectors in the exterior product v1 v2 v3, vn to v2 v1 v3, vn, say, also changes its sign. For this reason, the highest non-zero exterior power λ n v is sometimes also called the determinant of v and similarly for more involved objects such as vector bundles or chain complexes of vector spaces. Minors of a matrix can also be cast in this setting, by considering lower alternating forms λ k v with k. Transformation on alternating multilinear n forms The vector space W of all alternating multilinear n forms on an n dimensional vector space V has dimension 1. To each linear transformation T on V, we associate a linear transformation T on W, where for each W in W we define to u x1, xn equals W t x1, t x n. As a linear transformation on a one dimensional space, T is equivalent to a scalar multiple. We call this scalar the determinant of T. Equals. Topic: Square matrices over commutative rings and abstract properties. Equals. The determinant can also be characterized as the unique function. D. M. N. K. K. Display style d m underscore n k to k from the set of all n times n matrices with entries in a field k to this field satisfying the following three properties: first, d as an n-linear function, considering all but one column of a fixed, the determinant is linear in the remaining column, that is, d v one v i minus one a V I plus B W V I plus one V N equals A D V one V I minus one V I V I plus one V N plus B D V one V I 
minus one W V I plus one V N Display style D V underscore one dots V underscore I one Avenue underscore I plus B W V underscore I plus one dots V underscore N equals add V underscore one dots V underscore I one V underscore I V underscore I plus one dots V underscore N plus B D V underscore one dots V underscore I one W V underscore I plus one dots V underscore N for any column vectors v1, vn, and w, and any scalars elements of k, a, and b, second d is an alternating function. For any matrix O with two identical columns, d a. Topic zero. Finally, d in one, where n is the identity matrix. This fact also implies that every other n linear alternating function f, Minnesota k, k satisfies f m equals f i d m. Display style f m equals fluorine monoiodide d m. This definition can also be extended where k is a commutative ring R, in which case a matrix is invertible if and only if its determinant is an invertible element in R. For example, a matrix O with entries in Z, the integers, is invertible in the sense that there exists an inverse matrix with integer entries if the determinant is plus 1 or minus 1. Such a matrix is called unimodular. The determinant defines a mapping G L N R R times display style operator name G L underscore N R right arrow R caret times between the group of invertible n times n matrices with entries in R and the multiplicative group of units in R, since it respects the multiplication in both groups, this map is a group homomorphism. Secondly, given a ring homomorphism f r s, there is a map G L n f G L n r G L n s given by replacing all entries in R by their images under f. The determinant respects these maps, i.e., given a matrix A equals i j with entries in R, the identity f det a i j equals det f a I J Display style F debt a underscore I J equals debt F A underscore I J holds. In other words, the following diagram commutes. For example, the determinant of the complex conjugate of a complex matrix, which is also the determinant of its conjugate transpose, is the complex conjugate of its determinant. And for integer matrices, the reduction modulo m of the determinant of such a matrix is equal to the determinant of the matrix reduced modulo m. The latter determinant being computed using modular arithmetic. In the language of category theory, the determinant is a natural transformation between the two functors G L N and times. See also natural transformation hashtag determinant. Adding yet another layer of abstraction, this is captured by saying that the determinant is a morphism of algebraic groups, from the general linear group to the multiplicative group. Det G L N G M Display style debt operator name G L underscore N right arrow math B G underscore M. Topic Generalizations and related notions. Topic Infinite matrices. For matrices with an infinite number of rows and columns, the above definitions of the determinant do not carry over directly. For example, in the Leibniz formula, an infinite sum all of whose terms are infinite products would have to be calculated. Functional analysis provides different extensions of the determinant for such infinite dimensional situations, which however only work for particular kinds of operators. 
The Fredholm determinant defines the determinant for operators known as trace class operators by an appropriate generalization of the formula det i plus a equals exp tr log i plus a Display style debt I plus A equals EXP operator name TR log I plus A. Another infinite dimensional notion of determinant is the functional determinant. Topic Operators in von Neumann algebras. For operators in a finite factor, one may define a positive real-valued determinant called the fuggled minus Cattison determinant using the canonical trace. In fact, corresponding to every tracial state on a von Neumann algebra there is a notion of fuggled minus Cattison determinant. <laughs> Related notions for non-commutative rings For square matrices with entries in a non-commutative ring, there are various difficulties in defining determinants analogously to that for commutative rings. A meaning can be given to the Leibniz formula provided that the order for the product is specified, and similarly for other ways to define the determinant, but non-commutativity then leads to the loss of many fundamental properties of the determinant, for instance the multiplicative property or the fact that the determinant is unchanged under transposition of the matrix. Over non-commutative rings, there is no reasonable notion of a multilinear form existence of a non-zero bilinear form with a regular element of R as value on some pair of arguments implies that R is commutative. Nevertheless, various notions of non-commutative determinant have been formulated, which preserve some of the properties of determinants, notably quasi-determinants and the Judonet determinant. It may be noted that if one considers certain specific classes of matrices with non-commutative elements, then there are examples where one can define the determinant and prove linear algebra theorems that are very similar to their commutative analogs. Examples include quantum groups and Q-determinant, Capelli matrix and Capelli determinant, super matrices and Berezinian. Monon matrices is the class of matrices which is most close to matrices with commutative elements. Topic. Further variants Determinants of matrices in superrings that is, Z2 graded rings are known as Berezinians or superdeterminants. The permanent of a matrix is defined as the determinant, except that the factors Sgn occurring in Leibniz's rule are omitted. The immanent generalizes both by introducing a character of the symmetric group Sn in Leibniz's rule. Topic. Calculation Determinants are mainly used as a theoretical tool. They are rarely calculated explicitly in numerical linear algebra, where for applications like checking invertibility and finding eigenvalues the determinant has largely been supplanted by other techniques. Computational geometry, however, does frequently use calculations related to determinants. Naive methods of implementing an algorithm to compute the determinant include using the Leibniz formula or Laplace's formula. Both these approaches are extremely inefficient for large matrices, though, since the number of required operations grows very quickly, it is of order n. N factorial for an n times n matrix M, for example, Leibniz's formula requires calculating n products. Therefore, more involved techniques have been developed for calculating determinants. Decomposition methods Given a matrix A, some methods compute its determinant by writing A as a product of matrices whose determinants can be more easily computed. Such techniques are referred to as decomposition methods. Examples include the Lu decomposition, the QR decomposition or the Kolesky decomposition for positive definite matrices. These methods are of order O n3, which is a significant improvement over O n. The Lu decomposition expresses a in terms of a lower triangular matrix L, an upper triangular matrix U and a permutation matrix P A equals P L 
U display style a equals plu the determinants of l and u can be quickly calculated since they are the products of the respective diagonal entries the determinant of p is just the sign epsilon display style var epsilon of the corresponding permutation which is plus 1 for an even number of permutations and as minus 1 for an uneven number of permutations the determinant of a is then det a equals epsilon det l det u display style det a equals var epsilon det l c dot det u c determinant identities moreover the decomposition can be chosen such that l is a unitriangular matrix and therefore has determinant 1 in which case the formula further simplifies to det a equals epsilon det u display style det a equals var epsilon det u topic further methods if the determinant of a and the inverse of a have already been computed the matrix determinant lemma allows rapid calculation of the determinant of a plus uvt where u and v are column vectors since the definition of the determinant does not need divisions a question arises do fast algorithms exist that do not need divisions this is especially interesting for matrices over rings indeed algorithms with runtime proportional to n4 exist an algorithm of Mahajan and Vinay, and Berkowitz is based on closed ordered walks short clo. It computes more products than the determinant definition requires, but some of these products cancel and the sum of these products can be computed more efficiently. The final algorithm looks very much like an iterated product of triangular matrices. If two matrices of order n can be multiplied in time m n, where m n na for sum a greater than 2, then the determinant can be computed in time o m n. This means, for example, that an o n 2.376 algorithm exists based on the coppersmith winograd algorithm. Charles Dodgson i.e. Lewis Carroll of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland fame invented a method for computing determinants called Dodgson condensation. Unfortunately this interesting method does not always work in its original form. Algorithms can also be assessed according to their bit complexity, i.e., how many bits of accuracy are needed to store intermediate values occurring in the computation. For example, the Gaussian elimination or Lu decomposition method is of order O n3, but the bit length of intermediate values can become exponentially long. The Barice algorithm, on the other hand, is an exact division method based on Sylvester's identity is also of order n3, but the bit complexity is roughly the bit size of the original entries in the matrix times n. History Historically, determinants were used long before matrices. Originally, a determinant was defined as a property of a system of linear equations. The determinant determines whether the system has a unique solution, which occurs precisely if the determinant is non-zero. In this sense, determinants were first used in the Chinese mathematics textbook The Nine Chapters on the Mathematical Art, Zhu Zhang Suan Shu Chinese scholars, around the 3rd century BCE. In Europe, 2 times 2 determinants were considered by Cardano at the end of the 16th century and larger ones by Leibniz. In Japan, Seiki Takakazu Guan Shao He is credited with the discovery of the resultant and the determinant at first in 1683, the complete version no later than 1710. In Europe, Kramer 1750 added to the theory, treating the subject in relation to sets of equations. The recurrence law was first announced by Bezout 1764. It was Vandermond 1771 who first recognized determinants as independent functions. Laplace 1772 gave the general method of expanding a determinant in terms of its complementary minors. Vandermond had already given a special case. Immediately following, Lagrange 1773 treated determinants of the second and third order and applied it to questions of elimination theory, he proved many special cases of general identities. 
Gauss 1801 made the next advance. Like Lagrange, he made much use of determinants in the theory of numbers. He introduced the word determinant Laplace had used resultant, though not in the present signification, but rather as applied to the discriminant of a quantic. Gauss also arrived at the notion of reciprocal inverse determinants, and came very near the multiplication theorem. The next contributor of importance is Binet who formally stated the theorem relating to the product of two matrices of m columns and n rows, which for the special case of m equals n reduces to the multiplication theorem. On the same day November 30, 1812, that Binet presented his paper to the Academy, Cauchy also presented one on the subject. See cauchy binet formula. In this he used the word determinant in its present sense, summarized and simplified what was then known on the subject, improved the notation, and gave the multiplication theorem with a proof more satisfactory than Binet's. With him begins the theory in its generality. The next important figure was Jacobi from 1827. He early used the functional determinant which Sylvester later called the Jacobian, and in his memoirs in Krell's Journal for 1841 he specially treats this subject, as well as the class of alternating functions which Sylvester has called alternants. About the time of Jacobi's last memoirs, Sylvester 1839 and Cayley began their work. The study of special forms of determinants has been the natural result of the completion of the general theory. Axisymmetric determinants have been studied by Lebesgue, Hess, and Sylvester, persymmetric determinants by Sylvester and Hankel, circulants by Catalan, Spottiswood, Glacier, and Scott, skew determinants and Fafians, in connection with the theory of orthogonal transformation, by Cayley, continuants by Sylvester, Ronskians so called by Muir by Christoffel and Frobenius, compound determinants by Sylvester, Rees, and Pickett, Jacobians and Hessians by Sylvester, and symmetric gauche determinants by Trudy. Of the textbooks on the subject Spottiswoods was the first. In America, Haynes 1886, Weld 1893, and Muir, Metzler 1933 published treatises. <laughs> <laughs> applications Linear <laughs> independence <laughs> 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 As mentioned above, the determinant of a matrix with real or complex entries, say, is zero if and only if the column vectors or the row vectors of the matrix are linearly dependent. Thus, determinants can be used to characterize linearly dependent vectors. For example, given two linearly independent vectors v1, v2 in R3, a third vector v3 lies in the plane spanned by the former two vectors exactly if the determinant of the 3 times 3 matrix consisting of the three vectors is zero. The same idea is also used in the theory of differential equations, given n functions f1 x, fn x supposed to be n minus 1 times differentiable, the Ronskian is defined to be w F one F N X equals F one X F two X F N X F one X F two X F N X F one N minus one X F two N minus one X F N N minus one X Display style W F underscore one L dots F underscore N X equals begin V matrix F underscore one X and F underscore two X and C D O T S and F underscore N X F underscore one X and F underscore two X and C D O T S and F underscore N X V D O T S and V D O T S and D dots and V D O T S F underscore one carrot N one X and F underscore two carrot N one x and C D O T S and F underscore N carrot N one x and V matrix. It is non-zero for some x in a specified interval if and only if the given functions and all their derivatives up to order n minus one are linearly independent. If it can be shown that the Ronskian is zero everywhere on an interval, then in the case of analytic functions, this implies the given functions are linearly dependent. 
See the Ronskian and linear independence. Topic: <inaudible> Orientation of a basis. The determinant can be thought of as assigning a number to every sequence of n vectors in Rn by using the square matrix whose columns are the given vectors. For instance, an orthogonal matrix with entries in Rn represents an orthonormal basis in Euclidean space. The determinant of such a matrix determines whether the orientation of the basis is consistent with or opposite to the orientation of the standard basis. If the determinant is plus 1, the basis has the same orientation. If it is minus 1, the basis has the opposite orientation. More generally, if the determinant of A is positive, A represents an orientation preserving linear transformation if A is an orthogonal 2 times 2 or 3 times 3 matrix, this is a rotation, while if it is negative, A switches the orientation of the basis. <laughs> Volume and Jacobian determinant As pointed out above, the absolute value of the determinant of real vectors is equal to the volume of the parallelepiped spanned by those vectors. As a consequence, if f, r n r n is the linear map represented by the matrix A, and s is any measurable subset of r n, then the volume of f s is given by, det a, times the volume of s more generally, if the linear map f, r n erm is represented by the m times n matrix A, then the n-dimensional volume of f s is given by volume f s equals det a t a times volume s display style operator name volume f s equals sqrt det left a caret text sft a right times operator name volume s by calculating the volume of the tetrahedron bounded by four points, they can be used to identify skew lines. The volume of any tetrahedron, given its vertices a, b, c, and d, is one sixth det a minus b, b minus c, c minus d, or any other combination of pairs of vertices that would form a spanning tree over the vertices. For a general differentiable function, much of the above carries over by considering the Jacobian matrix of f. Four. F R N R N display style F math B F R caret N right arrow math B F R caret N. The Jacobian matrix is the n times n matrix whose entries are given by D F equals F I X J one I J N display style D F equals left frac partial F underscore I partial X underscore J right underscore one L E Q I J L E Q N. Its determinant, the Jacobian determinant, appears in the higher dimensional version of integration by substitution for suitable functions f and an open subset U of R n, the domain of f, the integral over f U of some other function phi. R n erm is given by f U phi v d v equals U phi f U debt D F U D U Display style int underscore F U Phi Math BF V D Math BF V equals int underscore U Phi F Math BF U left debt operator name D F Math BF U right D Math BF U The Jacobian also occurs in the inverse function theorem. Topic: Vandermonde determinant alternant. The third-order Vandermonde determinant is one 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 x one x two x three x one two x 
2 2 x 3 2 equals x 3 minus x 2 x 3 minus x 1 x 2 minus x 1 Display style left begin array C C C one and one and one x underscore one and x underscore two and x underscore three x underscore one carrot two and x underscore two carrot two and x underscore three carrot two end array right equals x underscore three x underscore two x underscore three x underscore one x underscore two x underscore one. In general, the nth order Vandermond determinant is one 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 x one x two x three x n x one two x two two x three two x n Two x one n minus one by two n minus one by three n minus one x n n minus one equals one i j n x j minus x i display style left begin array c c c c c one and one and one and c d o t s and one x underscore one and x underscore two and x underscore three and c d o t s and x underscore n x underscore one carrot two and x underscore two carrot two and x underscore three carrot Two and C D O T S and X underscore N carrot two V D O T S and V D O T S and V D O T S and D dots and V D O T S X underscore one carrot N one and X underscore two carrot N one and X underscore three carrot N one and C D O T S and X underscore N carrot N one end array right equals prod underscore one L E Q I where the right hand side is the continued product of all the differences that can be formed from the n n minus one two pairs of numbers taken from x one x two x n with the order of the differences taken in the reversed order of the suffixes that are involved. Topic circulant second order x one by two by two by one equals x one plus x two x one minus x two. Display style left begin array c c x underscore one and x underscore two x underscore two and x underscore one end array right equals left x underscore one plus x underscore two right left x underscore one x underscore two right third order x one x two x three x Three x one x two x two x three x one equals x one plus x two plus x three x one plus omega x two plus omega two by three x one plus omega two by two plus omega x three display style left begin array c c c x underscore one and x underscore two and x underscore three x underscore three and x underscore one and x underscore two x underscore two and x underscore three and x underscore one end array right equals left x underscore one plus x underscore two plus x underscore three right Left x underscore one plus omega x underscore two plus omega carrot two x underscore three right left x underscore one plus omega carrot two x underscore two plus omega x underscore three right where omega and omega two are the complex cube roots of one. In general, the nth order circulant determinant is x one x two x three x n x n x 1 x 2 x n minus 1 x n minus 1 x n 
x 1 x n minus 2 x 2 x 3 x 4 x 1 equals j equals 1 n x 1 plus x 2 omega j plus x 3 omega j 2 plus Plus x n omega j n minus one display style left begin array c c c c c x underscore one and x underscore two and x underscore three and c d o t s and x underscore n x underscore n and x underscore one and x underscore two and c d o t s and x underscore n one x underscore n one and x underscore n and x underscore one and c d o t s and x underscore n two v d o t s and V D O T S and V D O T S and D dots and V D O T S X underscore two and X underscore three and X underscore four and C D O T S and X underscore one end array right equals prod underscore J equals one carrot and left X underscore one plus X underscore two Omega underscore J plus X underscore three Omega underscore J carrot two plus C D O T S plus X underscore N Omega underscore j carrot n1 right where omega j is an nth root of 1 topic see also equals equals notes <laughs>